the T30 Torx bit, you want to go ahead and remove the eight screws holding the inner tailgate panel. We're going to be using a pair of needle nose pliers to go ahead and release these retainer clips off the rods. Pull the rods out. And separate the rods from their retainer clips here. Using a 10 millimeter socket and extension, we're going to go ahead and remove this bolt and this bolt right here. Hold the tailgate handle on the other side. Then pull that out. We're going to go ahead and remove our lock cylinder here. So on the back side, there is a retainer clip that kind of spring loads down below. We're going to use our pick and get underneath. And I'm just going to try and pull that clip out. You know, on the new handle, there are two little notches right here that'll line up with the notches on the lock cylinder itself. Drop that down into place, make sure that that pin lines up here. If this doesn't line up, you just wanna manually maneuver that over, line that up, push that into place, and the spring clip should lock that cylinder in. Go ahead and feed the handle up inside from the front. There's going to be a little lock tab right here. Along the bottom part of the handle itself, you want to make sure that these little tabs lock on to the tailgate itself. And once it does, you'll be able to get these bolt holes to line up. Go ahead and Get your 10 millimeter bolt started by hand. And I'll go ahead and snug that down. Now install your rod, put the clip on. Don't forget to clip the rod retainers there and on the other side. Install the rear cover. I'm going to start each of these by hand. Once you have all these in, go ahead and snug them down.